Next, an orchestra of students from one of the world's great science and engineering universities comes together for the world premiere of a new piece of music, a tribute to the events of the Arab Spring. Meet the composer. It feels like actually the tempo of it slides a little yes. bit. The conductor. If you end a phrase with a quarter note, but da 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 hold it full note value. And the student performers. I thought it was really phenomenal the way he uses different colors and the way they kind of play off each other. I really, really enjoyed it. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology Wind Ensemble presents Awakening. Activists in Cairo today press their demands that Egypt's military ruler step down immediately. I can remember driving to MIT on my commute and listening to the radio. Demonstrators say they'll intensify pressure for an end to army. And hearing the passion in the voices of the people who were participating in the Arab Spring. If I could somehow get someone to write a piece of music that would have our students have to think about the Arab Spring movement, what it means, and get some historical context as it's happening right now. That was my goal. We are extremely honored to have an MIT alum back on campus, Jamshid Sharifi. Hey, everyone. Jamshid Sharifi is a New York-based composer and producer. He's an artist that is equally comfortable in the fields of world music, in pop music, in composing original music, in writing music for film. I'm, I'm digging it. It sounds really good in here, too. He graduated from MIT in the mid-1980s, and he directed, for a number of years, the MIT Festival Jazz Ensemble. So here is someone who really knows what it's like to make music at MIT, how it feels. If we think of MIT as one of the world's great institutions for engineering and science, but in fact the arts and humanities have been thriving here for decades. And I think it's something that's been a part of the fabric of MIT for many, many years, but it's not as well known. Awakening is a piece for wind ensemble that I've written on the theme of the Arab Spring. One thing that I tried to avoid is thinking that I was going to make any sort of definitive statement about the Arab Spring. Close to two years after things have happened, it's still a feeling of guarded optimism. It's not a piece of traditional Arabic music. My records neither are traditional Persian music or Middle Eastern music. They're a mix of a lot of different elements, a lot of things that I've heard and studied. I mean, I have and education in jazz. I spent a lot of time playing classical music. I've played in pop bands. I mean, I'm a hybridized person, right? I'm a half Persian and half American. So I'm pretty comfortable mixing those influences. I've had a fantasy for quite some time to have him write for the MIT Wind Ensemble. He's never composed for the idiom of a wind ensemble, a company of woodwind, brass, and percussion players. And he's someone who has a kind of artistic restraint in his temperament that colors in a very beautiful way everything he does in music. When you're dealing with a new piece in front of an ensemble, the first thing you do is play it through and let them make their statement before you have anything to say. reworked the ending a little bit. We got to hear specifically Jamshid talking to Fred and to kind of see those two come together was a lot of fun. I, I think I maybe went too far the other way so I kind of have to bring it back but. It's better than the ink, that's all I can say. Middle Eastern music has a lot of quarter tones but when you're writing for a college wind ensemble you can't expect them to learn how to play quarter tones you know in one concert cycle. He said for him it was interesting to have to figure out how to get that element of the music in it. The baritone sound is just amazing to me. The trumpet solos, the woodwind features, they just all come together really well. I've never really seen the quote-unquote division between the arts and the sciences as any kind of dichotomy. To be a complete person 
it makes sense to be educated in both. So having a vibrant arts program at a school like MIT is, is important for making complete human beings, for making human beings that connect to the world. As you know, there's things that happen in a concert that can't happen in a rehearsal. Everybody brings their best game. And also, as a listener, as a composer, you can really let go. It's just the concert. This is what it is. It's just time to enjoy it and let it flow. The first movement gives us a sense of place, which is the Middle East, and has a short section which talks about the event that sparked the Arab Spring, which was the self-immolation of Mohammed Bouazizi, and goes on to musically illustrate how that event led to uprisings all over the Middle East.
The second movement is a very reflective and quiet movement in which I'm imagining the participants and observers of the events of the spring just taking stock of what has happened and reflecting on it.
And the third movement is a call to action or a call to continued action, you know, in the hopes that what happened in the Arab Spring continues to bring um, better political and human situations in the Middle East.
Music is clearly one of the great innovations of humanity, passed on to us from nature. The word awakening kind of conjures this idea that you're coming forth with something, but yet it might not be fully realized. This power of reflection and contemplation is so needed today. And I think that awakening in its own way provides a vehicle for that.